example to our future entrepreneurs and leaders. I want to give a huge thanks to the family, friends, and many others who have supported our graduates here to the very end of the middle school years. And finally, thank you, graduates. Thank you to all 140 of you for your dedication to your learning and for supporting one another throughout the years. Now, as you all remember, the majority of our middle school years have been spent virtually due to COVID-19. This has tremendously affected the way we adapted to our learning environment. We faced times where our families had to be quarantined, where every day we wore masks through heat waves. Not only did we have to pass our exams, but we had to pass COVID tests. We are the first generation to be challenged with this obstacle that has only made us stronger. Throughout this pandemic, we have become proficient in technology. We have become more independent learners with stronger passions and with the potential to aim for higher achievement. Even as we continue to face hills and mountains, we must remember that after traveling up, we will reach the peak, our success. Afterwards, we will be able to proceed downhill and join the obstacles that we have conquered. This is definitely worth the time and much easier. This means that we are all capable of achieving success if we don't give up. Whether we define success as being happy with oneself or getting into our dream college, we are all able to what we strive to do. We must believe to achieve. As Clark Jimin once said, never give up until you've given all your best. It's better to fail than time, wondering what would have happened if you tried. As I consider the memories over our middle school years, I asked classmates to share days. Two main topics were consistently brought up. The interactions between the students and the teachers, and the social events. Some might see the, the bond between the two girls stronger. Another like the teachers versus students' sports. They liked it. Oh. Others said how entertaining stories that the teachers told were very enjoyable. They liked when Mr. Fong had ice cream for the whole grade, or when students joined in for happy birthdays, playing games, or the Pledge of Allegiance. Small moments like laughing with friends, playing dodgeball with Mr. W, and Experiments with the egg or golem with the third make our middle school years more memorable. They remember events like winter formal, team night, and the science fair. Many others also remember how we wore our most to school, where I created a better relationship with the people here to whom we now call friends. These memories unite us not only as a student body, but as friends who deeply care for one another, a family. As we enter high school, we must remember that each day will impact us into becoming better people. Continue being strong as you face new challenges and opportunities during your high school years. Never be afraid to tackle what comes your way. You all are capable of surpassing your own limits. I wish you all the very best in your high school years. And so with that, I leave you with Mr. Gary's words. Real ones to say goodbye. At this time, I would like to introduce the salutatorian 